Welcome to Happiness is Healthy. It's Stephanie here, your happiness enhancer. How are you doing tonight? Really? Wow, that's amazing. You always surprise me with what you do. Mm-hmm. That's great. You tried having kangaroo burger. That is so cool. Did you get that at the community farm store? All right, I got some too. I haven't tried it yet though. You liked it? All right, that's good. I'm gonna try it, That you inspired me. Thanks so much, yeah. Mm -hmm. I always thought he who eats the most animals, or she, right, <laughs> lives the longest, that's right. So anyways, yeah, I had a good day today. It was. Yeah, I just did a bunch of stuff around the house here that needed to get done. Yeah, I had some projects to finish up, so that was good. I got those done. Mm -hmm. And today I was thinking, you know, in all the videos, I've never really talked to you about me, right? And why did I become a happiness enhancer, right? And so I thought I could just tell you a little bit about myself, right? And then, you know then maybe that would help you get to know me better, right? So, um, you know, I just had a regular kind of a life with two parents, and I got to live on 20 acres with horses and dirt bikes, so that was pretty lucky, because I believed I was Laura Ingalls Wilder incarnated. Yeah, and, um, you know, I just graduated from a teeny town in regular high school and stuff, but in the meantime, when I was 15 and a half, my father passed away all of a sudden. Like, one day he was well, and the next day he was dead, right? So it was very shocking. And he died of an alcohol-related um, illness called Mallory Weiss syndrome, where you tear your esophagus inside, and you bleed to death inside yourself, Ugh, right? So, um, yeah, so that's how he died. And I learned it was from alcoholism later when I was in AA because I had drank a bit too much. And so it, when I was 24, I quit drinking till I was 33. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the most important thing that when I was a kid is that I just wanted to be happy. Because in my family, we had, you know, 20 acres and cars and dirt bikes and horses and, you know, everything. <laughs> A manure spreader, <laughs> you know, we had a dump truck, my dad had all kind of things, right? Like, really, we had everything. But, you know, but nobody was really happy. My mom was very ill because she was x-rayed for acne in the 50s, and um, they cooked all her lymph nodes all in her, up in here. And so they were removing them, and so she got really bad rheumatoid arthritis. So anyways... Yeah, so I watched my mom be kind of like the incredible shrinking woman, and she got littler and littler, and she passed away a couple of years ago, too, so now my parents are back together, so that's wonderful. My dad had to wait a long time, mm -hmm. almost 40 years for my mom, yeah, so that was good that they're together again, mm-hmm. And, you know, so the reason why I wanted to become a happiness enhancer, or really, I just wanted to become happy. <clears throat> and then I found out the only thing I needed to do to be happy is just manage my thoughts, right? What am I thinking about? So, and what am I feeling? If I can manage those two things, right, <laughs> then I can have a happy life. Because... Not every thought that I think is real, no. And not every emotion I have is real. Emotions and thoughts just happen all the time, and I need discernment to know which ones to invest my energy in. And so over these years, I've just read tons of, um, as you could see, tons of self-help books. There's all kinds of them over there, right? It just goes on and on, and oh, some cartoons too. Can to be kept to be playful too, right? So, yeah. <clears throat> Not all serious, no. And so, you know, it's just important 
for us to learn to manage our thoughts and our emotions. Because I want to think what I want to think. I don't want my thoughts just thinking anything, and then I could be getting all upset. Mm -hmm. So I stay focused on what I want to think about, and that's what keeps me happy. Because happiness is a choice. That's what I've learned in all these years. And my goal, I just want to help other people realize that we don't need a million dollars, no, or a fancy car or anything. All we need to be happy is a mindset and a grateful heart. Because we can be grateful just if we can walk or if we can breathe or if we could see or hear. We can, I can always find something to be grateful for. And I hope that you all can find more things to be grateful for. And forget about everything else. Just make up something to be grateful for. I mean, we have hot running water, right? Oh my gosh. Any temperature we want, right? So, we're pretty lucky here in North America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit. And... Tomorrow's singing Saturday, so get ready to sing along. Oh, right, and we get to talk about these earrings. I love this painting. It's called Summer Party. It's like all the drinks are dancing. What's the back look like? Ooh, I like that back. What's this back look like? Woo! I love those backs, too. What do you think? Do you like them? And then imagine that's all one piece, right? Yeah, stick it together in your mind. So anyway, this original painting was two feet by three feet. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for coming by and getting your happiness enhanced. Let me know if you enhanced anybody else's happiness. And thanks for coming out. Virtual hugs. Anyways, love you guys. And thanks for stopping by and liking, subscribing, and sharing. Take care. Love you.